did, did you catch what, what staff minister Chad White was saying the name of this Sunday is? It's got a special name. It's called, what is it, Johnny? Tr it's Transfiguration Sunday. No, you got it close. Transformation, Transfiguration, same thing, right? It's while well, Jesus was transformed or transfigured into just looking like a regular guy into showing his, all of his glory. To kind of show you what this is like, I want to ask you a question. Can, do you know who this guy is right here? Okay, the grown-ups can't answer. <laughs> All right, this guy in this picture, do you know who he is? Okay, his name is Ben Affleck, but you know him as, who's that? Batman, he's one of the guys that played the superhero Batman. See Batman? Can you see Eileen? See Batman? Let's try this again, okay? Do you know who this is? Who's this? Okay, I don't know his name, but I know who he turns into. His name is Mark Ruffalo. He's an actor, right? But you know him as the Incredible Hulk, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Okay, we got one more. Now you kind of get the pattern. Who's this guy? Who is that? I don't know his name. I don't know his name, but... But I think... I think he is... Oh, it's not that one, but that's a really good guess. Anybody else? Well, who is he, Ju Ju Judah? The Black Panther. His name is Chadwick. What's his last name? Bozeman, yeah. Couldn't remember that. It's too common, I guess. The Black Panther. Okay, this one's going to be an easy one. Who's this guy? Everybody. Jesus, kind of maybe as he had maybe looked when he was walking around with his disciples, but they, all the time they were walking around with him, they kept realizing by the miracles he did and by the things that happened that he wasn't just Jesus, but he was a superhero, the very best one of all, God. And today, the transfiguration, you can hardly see him. And that's what it was like. There's lots of pictures of, trans, of the, this story. The one I'm going to show on the screen today, you can actually see Jesus. But see how in this picture you can barely see him in there? That's what it was like for them. When he transfigured, it was so bright, it was like looking into the sun. And you know how when you look at the sun in the middle of the afternoon, it's just so bright, you have to, and don't even do it, it's bad for your eyes, right? But it's, you have to kind of squint and, and do this. That's what they did the whole time. In fact, they got scared. They saw him in all of his glory. And they realized he was more than any superhero that he was actually God himself. And there's one big difference between this superhero and these guys over here in these other pictures. And what is the big difference? This superhero is real. The other ones are all somebody made up in a comic book and then later they made it a movie. And they all are kind of like a Jesus because they are human, you know, and then they're superhuman. But this is the real one. So whenever you watch those, and those are fun shows to watch, remember, they're really just kind of a, a, um, a story that points you to what Jesus is really like because he's the superhero. And then he did the greatest thing. All the superheroes rescue cities, right? The Spider-Man and the Pan Black Panther, they rescue people, right? Jesus rescued us forever. That's really cool, isn't it? Let's pray. God, thank you for being our superhero. Jesus, thank you for your transfiguration as we go through Lent now coming in the days ahead. Help us to remember that even though you were suffered so much like a human, you were also the God who loved us so much that you'd come down here to be with us to save us. Amen.